hey, Paul, that had been a, you know, very good defensive team. Uh, you guys kind of had your way with them, especially the, the second half. Uh, why, uh, you know, what'd you do today to make it work so easily? Uh, I mean, we just a pretty good offensive team. Thanks, Brian. We'll go over to Tomer. Hey, PG, congrats on the win. Uh, on a day where, you know, you shoot one of eight from three, Kawhi shoots one of three, Lou is one of five, uh, the team shoots 45% and makes 17 threes. Um, what does that say about your offense? And is this just something we can expect now where the team just gets, uh, makes a lot of threes because they get a lot of good looks? Uh, you answered the question. <laughs> we, uh, we share the ball, we move it. Um, we look for the open man. We, uh, we, you know, emphasize uh, passing up good shots for great ones. And, um, you know, I, I think we do a pretty good job of doing that. Is it at a point where you're expecting to make a lot of these shots because you're taking so many good looks? I mean, yeah, we shooting them, expecting to make them uh, first and foremost. And when we're shooting great ones, we expect to really make them. So, um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Tomer. We'll go over to Stefan Bondi. Hey, Paul, um, I, I, I know you didn't go head to head with him, but what do you think of the Knicks rookie Emmanuel quickly? Uh, I, I like him. I like him. Uh, we were just talking about it in the back. Um, you know, his, his float game, his float game was, was off the charts um, for a young guy. Um, he's got a lot of package. And um, I think what I love the most um, is a hard quality to find is, is I thought he was fearless, you know. He took some big shots. He stepped up to take big shots. Um, and offensively, he was just aggressive. Thanks. Thank you. We'll go over to Farbon. Hey, PG. On a, on a game where you're missing two starters in Batum and Beverly, you guys still managed to have every single starter score in double digits. I mean, how, how proud are you of guys like Reggie and Patrick Patterson where, you know, they can go from not having any playing time to suddenly being legitimate reasons why the team wins the game, combining for 31 points tonight. Yeah, uh, this team steps up. Everyone steps up. Uh, you know, every, everyone picks up picks up the slack. Um, next man up mentality on this team. Um, I thought those two were great. Um, and they're, they're always locked in. You know, it's a, a, a great quality about this team. Um, you know, everybody's always locked in, and um, we try to do everything as possible to make it easy on everybody. Thanks, Far Bob. Go over to Miriam. Hey, PG, like the hat. Um, <laughs> uh, you guys have a, have a fun one coming up on Tuesday against Brooklyn. Should be a challenge. Are you guys looking forward to that? And um, you, I just, what's your mindset going into that game? Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, I think everyone's looking forward to that matchup. Um, this ball club in the world um, should be a great showdown, great matchup. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> we just finished one. Um, we'll prepare for them tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. We'll go over to Sabrina. Hey, PG, congrats on the win. Uh, I know that you guys obviously have a really deep bench of guys who can step up, but in this first game without Nick Batum, what did you notice about his absence on the floor? What did you miss about not having him? Uh, you know, Nick just does so much stuff. You know, um, I, I think just having another ball handler, having another defender, um, another another floor spacer, um, you know, again, he, he's just all over the place. Um, Offensively and defensively, just does a lot for us. So, um, you know, we definitely miss miss his energy more than anything. Uh, you know, because he's he's the the ultimate glue guy um, to kind of just keep everything together for us. Um, you know, he's is is just such a valuable player for us. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. We got time for one more. We'll go to Long Murray. Hey, Paul. Congrats on the win today, and uh, also you made it a point to limit your turnovers. You've, you've talked about uh, the high turnovers game being something that you want to decrease, especially as you increase your responsibilities as a facilitator and a playmaker. And today was your first game of the season where you didn't have multiple turnovers. So what was what was it like to kind of take what the defense was giving you, protect the ball, and still be able to make plays for others? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I just told myself um, I, I get in trouble a lot. Just trying to squeeze passes through or, um, you know, just not being completely on the same page. Um, today, I just, you know, I made an emphasis to take care of it. Um, you know, if, if I was in a crowd or if I was in trouble, um, just slow down and, and don't make the home run play. Just make the right play. And, um, you know, I, I just kept it easy tonight. Or, or today and uh, paid off. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.